So it's game day today, Rangers v Tottenham Hotspur in our third pre-season friendly. But the video starts today here at Celtic Park, Rangers' biggest rivals. Welcome back to the channel, hope you're all keeping well. So of course it is game day for Tottenham Hotspur today. We take on Rangers at Ibrox Stadium for the Walter Toll Memorial Cup. Um, but first up, I'm visiting Celtic Park, of course the home of Celtic, Rangers biggest rivals. So Celtic were actually founded in 1887. Celtic Park here has a capacity of 60,411. They have won the Scottish League Championship 52 times, including last season. They have won 40 Scottish Cups and 20 Scottish League Cups. One European Cup and that was in 1967. So a little bit of a shame, cannot get into Celtic Park today um, because they are actually playing Norwich City 3pm at the same time as we take on Rangers at Ibrox Stadium. So for security purposes, uh, no one can be allowed in and no tours on today or tomorrow. So sadly, this trip and these videos will not include a tour around Celtic Park. So right next to Celtic Park is the Emirates Arena and this is one of the largest gyms in Glasgow and was also the purpose-built main venue for the 2014 Commonwealth Games. So if you watch this channel on a regular basis, you will know I'm a huge fan of football stadiums. So we are now on the way to Partick Thistle. So I've now arrived at Partick Thistle. Um, they were actually formed in 1876 and they currently play in the Scottish Championship. So the capacity at this stadium is 10,102. Not many trophies won here though. They've only won the Scottish Cup once and that was in 1921 and the Scottish League Cup in 1972. They've actually won the Scottish Championship or the Football League First Division six times in their history and the Scottish League One uh, Division or the Football League Second Division uh, on two occasions. 
it is raining again in Glasgow. And I tell you what, every single time I seem to come to Scotland, it rains, so I won't be needing these sunglasses today. Um, but it is weird because Partick Thistle are also playing at home today, 3 p.m. kickoff. So, Partick Thistle in Glasgow, Celtic in Glasgow, Rangers in Glasgow are all playing at home on the same time, 3 p.m. today. It's weird actually because uh, we've now been to Celtic and of course we're at Partick Thistle now. Some wonderful uh, murals on the wall by the way uh, as I'm passing here. Um, but the staff are actually finding it very weird um, that all three clubs are playing at home on the same day 3pm kickoff. So that says a lot. Over the years, I've visited so many football stadiums all around the world, and I tell you what, this one could certainly do with some new signs. These signs are probably 1970s, haven't been replaced. You can still see the, uh, the wood here. But weirdly, they do have this brand new sign right next to it with a QR code where you can purchase tickets. So this building behind me is BBC Scotland and this wonderful building here is the IMAX Cinema and we are just about to go into the Glasgow Science Centre. Whenever I come on these trips watching Tottenham Hotspur I always try and visit as many places as possible in the local area. So another interesting place here in Glasgow, this is the Armadillo, uh, formerly known as the Clyde Auditorium, and the capacity here is 3,000. Now on the way to Ibrox, it is about half an hour walk from where I'm staying. Um, it's raining again in Glasgow, I don't know what it is about when I come to Scotland, it always seems to be raining. Um, but really looking forward to seeing Tottenham Hotspur in action this afternoon. And of course, both teams will be competing for the Walter Toll Memorial Cup. So Antonio Conte could win his first trophy as Spurs boss. But the players I'm really looking forward to seeing, hopefully they will play and feature today. Yves Basuma, we haven't seen him in a Spurs shirt as yet. Uh, of course, Fraser Forster, we haven't seen him in a Spurs shirt either. And of course, a couple of years ago, he played for Rangers rivals Celtic. Uh, where I visited this morning. Um, and of course, Ivan Perisic, really looking forward to seeing him in a Spurs shirt for the very first time. Very good transport links here to Ibrox Stadium as well. We are now at the subway Ibrox, which is just a short walk to the stadium. So, just arrived at Ibrox, the home of Rangers. You can see here, formed in 1872. They've actually won the Scottish League title 55 times, the Scottish Cup 34 times, the Scottish League Cup on 27 occasions, and they also won the Scottish Challenge Cup once, and that was back in 2016.
So the game's about to kick off. All six brand new signings are on the bench for Tottenham Hotspur today. First one nil to Rangers. So it's half time, Rangers 1, Tottenham Hotspur 0. And it's 1 1, Harry Kane, what a goal again. He is in absolute superb form and has been during the whole of pre season so far. What a finish! That finish is top draw. And that is 2-1 Tottenham Hotspur and Harry Kane has done it again. This man is on fire. Another fantastic finish. So that's full time, Rangers 1, Tottenham Hotspur 2.
She won the trophy for the most prestigious national football museum, English Football Hall of Fame, and recognition for the football career and his pioneering successes as one of the first black professional footballers. Congratulations to Tom Hotspur, winning the Walter Tower Memorial Cup, presented by. So Spurs won a trophy today, so it's time to celebrate. Cheers! <laughs>